Hey buddy and welcome. So here I'm showing the new Guide 12 in Nomad 5 solar panel kit that you can get from Goal Zero. And the biggest thing that is nice is this. Now my camera's gonna take a little bit to focus. <laughs> and this is the biggest improvement for the guide system. Now you, instead of having one amp outputs that the Guide 10 Plus used, this is now two amps. But they only recommend one amp if you're using triple A's. But if you're using double A's, you can put two amp system. And here's the difference: in this now is a flat switch, so it uses a uh, different mode selection system. So you push it triple times and it will select from uh, four dots, which will be high powered mode, aka two amps, or triple uh, button again and it will be two dots in low powered mode, aka one amp. And then you got a USB-C, which is only for input, it's not bio-directional, and it's only rated at one amp, but it charges at four hours for 2500 mAh cells. So that's actually pretty neat. Instead of taking like the guy 10 plus, which would you would need to solar panel to be able to charge in three hours for their solar port, aka their uh, 6.5 volts at 1.1 amp inputs, um, or use the mini USB port, which only charged at 0.8 amps at five volts, and that took six hours to charge with. This now takes only one amp and it charges at four hours. So that's pretty nice. <clears throat> and then you hold down the button to turn on the LED if you wanted to. And there's only one problem with my unit. Um, another person uh, on uh, the Amazon review page mentioned that he heard humming, but I don't have that issue. The only thing that uh, is still present with mine and his is that if you push this button, when you replace batteries, it won't show full, it will just show one bar. So hopefully Goal Zero will fix that issue in the later future when they probably sell this as a single unit because right now you can only get this as a kit and I'm plugged into a USB to 12 volt adapter to Liar Life uh, 350 right now because I'm cycling these batteries. <clears throat> and um, yeah, 2 amp output it's really nice. We finally officially have a 2 amp output uh, AA power bank. Um, there's no other power banks that actually support 2 amp. There is only this. Uh, most power banks either support 1 amp or even 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. That's the maximum you can get is 1 amp. That's pretty low for now, uh, nowadays devices. Now the biggest thing also is this solar panel. Now it's not really too crazy, but it's actually pretty nice. Um, it's kind of resin coated, so you do have this kind of resin uh, rubber material on the top that's covering the solar panel, so it's nice and protected. Um, and there's not much else to it. It's just pretty flat, and that's it. You just have a little kickstand on the back with this little... Uh, rubber directional uh, USB ports. Now this on the other hand, when I would have it uh, outside, I did hear this kind of humming. So I guess it was just the power being converted. Another thing I noticed is that I believe this is actually higher powered than it's actually produced uh, powering out. Um, I think this is actually technically a 10 watt panel but they're limiting the output to about 5 watts. So you're getting more power than you're actually getting out due to um, more efficiency or more thorough power outputs instead of having that peak power performance but it kind of goes because I've just tested it with a 3DS which requires about 0.8 amps of power output 
I mean input to charge and when this is not even pointed like if it's out in the sun and it's pointed just like this while the sun is pointed like up and down like this it actually still charges quite fine so it doesn't need to be literally like straight pointed to the sun so that's pretty good and shadowing effects some shadows will not uh, disrupt the power uh, ability too so that's pretty neat that they're giving this a little bit more punch than it's actually able to throw out because that gives it much more stable output uh, performance ability than a lot of other panels that will give this amount of performance but then that's only if you're in real 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 peak performance of the directional of the sun and everything like that so it's a neat little trick that I guess Goal Zero will be using for their solar panel systems um, I do find it though it's a little kind of like calm it's not it's calm well, I guess you can say it's compact in some ways, but it's not, like, tiny. It's quite big. I mean, this is not very small. But, I mean, if this could have been a folding panel system, and could have been, like, I don't know, half the size of this, or even a quarter of the size of this, that would have been actually nice. But, I guess there's some sense into this because I mean these panels the silicon panels are actually very uh, easily broken and the last panels that they had in our folding systems were literally on the back of the, uh, the folding panels like if you looked at their first generation with the solo port where the guide 10 plus um, would use you would literally feel the panel, uh, the glass panel backing on the back of the panel pieces. But this is actually covered in plastic, and then the panels are covered on the front with resin. Or, in any case, it's probably resin covered in general, and then you have the plastic, like, grips on the side here. Which is actually much more better protected. But this is only for the Nomad 5. I'm not sure how the Nomad 20 works. Um, but, uh, yeah. Pretty cool that they give a little bit more power for more stability, though. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace.